Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Neil and it's time for next episode of season one of Happy. This is episode five. It's called White Sauce, Hot Sauce. And it's going to be my last episode reacting to Happy. This isn't because I'm not enjoying the show. I am. But I am not enjoying the editing process for this show at all. When, when you're editing a reaction video down, for those of you who don't know, the rule of thumb is you can't include more than 10 minutes of footage from, from an episode. I know this. I, I do a second-by-second second count of how much footage I include. And when I've got a final product, I upload it. And YouTube checks it against all known... They do their copyright check algorithms. And they clear. And I schedule the release of my videos. And they come out. And then typically, that's great. That's when people start watching them. Well, every single time I've done that for an episode of Happy... About four or five days after my video goes public, a manual claim is put on, my, on, on the video. And so I can only assume there's somebody at Netflix or Sci-Fi or some other production company somehow affiliated with the production that just doesn't really want people to be watching reaction videos for this show. Now, the video stays up. It's only a partial block, but it means no one in Canada or the United States can see my videos. No matter how much I continue to put cut, continue to cut out after the block is put up. So that's frustrating. Frankly, it's just not worth the effort. If I if I had the same kind of audience here on Happy that I did for my Lost reactions, I might keep at it because I love the feedback I'm getting on Lost, and I know a ton of people are enjoying the videos. I know a lot of people are watching the videos. The fact is, on these happy reactions, maybe 30 or 40 of you are watching. And th that's okay. I know it wasn't a, a super uh, mainstream show. It's bonkers. It's insane. Um, but the fact is, is I haven't found an audience for these reaction videos. The copyright checks aren't making that any easier by basically taking it away from the one geographic region where it was released. And so I'm sort of in, I'm, I'm sort of at the point now where I'm not sure what the point is. Topping it all off, I've just started a new gig. I've got a little bit less time to dedicate to the channel. And you cut dead wood first is the sad fact of any business. And right now, Happy was kind of dead wood. But I didn't want to just stop doing it without letting you guys know why. And so that's what I'm doing now. And I'm going to keep watching this show. I'm just not going to go through the, the extensive time it takes to record and edit and schedule and everything else that being a reactor requires. Um, I'll watch it on my own time. I'll enjoy it. I'll have a couple of beers and I'll, I'll be shocked at the, the bonkers insanity of it. And I really hope Nick gets redeemed at the end. Um, but unfortunately, there will be no videos documenting that journey. But uh, without further ado, let's watch episode five of season one of Happy. This one's called White Sauce? Hot Sauce? Password. That's actually why we're all here. And I'm the only one who knows the password, which is why you gotta get dead. Do we know for sure that Nick even really knows the password? How will we find this now? How will they find you now? Let's go, Sats. We can work the case together. Just like old times. Just like old times. <laughs> you gotta go see Blue Nick. He's really got you by the short and curly, doesn't he? Ooh. The show always goes way faster than I anticipate. Ow. Oh, he's still got the scissors in his leg? Happy! Let's split. <laughs> oh, man. Happy isn't happy. Happy is sad. I am talking recurring guests. I am talking spin-off. Just, uh, sign this release and you can leave all that mobster crap behind. <laughs> man, this guy's not gonna survive. 
You know, you gotta give up this tired old idea of... <laughs> <laughs> Well, Smoothie's doing a, a clean up. Uh oh, what does he see? Oh, she's still there. Blue isn't going to be happy. Did he kill her? She's not. Curiosity killed the cat. Since <laughs> he's just drawn on her face. Come, dancer. Come. Oh, he's Come calling on. them reindeer names. Come, Dasher. Yes. Are there eight of Come them? Dasher of course there are. You want to stay with me, don't you? With my other nice kids. You want On Dasher and Dancer, on Prancer and Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. So she's Blitzen, which is lightning in German. Donner and Blitzen is thunder and lightning. I don't know if that means anything. I just... Oh, man, this has got that... Weird off key dark string instrument vibe right now. If there's some 33 year time jumps all of a sudden, I'll be not at all surprised. I'm assuming we're gonna see the big bug man, or whatever we're supposed to call him, the roach or something. They're in the school? What? This is so weird. Is this a real school? I've seen a man in 10 years. Bad idea. You think maybe? You look like shit, Nick. Are, are you scared? God, I hate you. <laughs> this school thing has me weirded out. Like, is that all just... No, it's like... It's like a school set. Nothing's in the board games. There's like stage lights up above. Does it work? The books are empty. It's a school set. Like somebody wants to f film this or something. Anyone here ever watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer? That guy coming in, just the way he moved, reminded me of the gentlemen who were one of the baddies from, I'm going to say season four of Buffy. What is going on? The common refrain of the typical American parent does oh, geez. it sound familiar to you? It's smoothie. I didn't even realize. And where were you? Pills? Uh, Coke? Uh, Booze? Maybe all of the above? Or maybe... Yep, maybe all of just it. Just maybe putting a bullet in some poor bastard for a little cash. All you do is bring chaos and oh. violence and destruction to yeah. everything uh, you touch. Well, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who comes in with throwing axes? Oh, that guy's got the big axe. What happened to this, the, the quality construction? Well, good thing it's a rental, but I don't think you're getting your damage axe deposit you back. Receive. Axe and you shall receive? Did you really just say that? Axe and you shall receive? Yeah. The, oh my god. I do wonders with all the stains. Get out. No, you got some dead bodies in your house. Nice that the big blood spray's off to the side, though. Not on the curtains. <laughs> oh, in the graveyard. Man, she was out for a while. Whose grave? Her dad? She doesn't know she's got the whiskers. This whole kidnapping angle? You want to steer wide clear of that. Sometimes kids go missing. Do they work for the bug man too? And the Scaramucci's? Sometimes they just stay missing. One by one. <laughs> Those are some file. huge pieces of cake. I wouldn't trust it after the drugged Christmas uh, pudding. What's the matter with you? What do you think? Huh? You're gonna tell me you shed. Don't shed, I don't like animals that shed. Is he molding cause she's losing faith in him? She doesn't believe in him. The spirit of Christmas is everywhere. <laughs> the city never disappoints. Is a show about to start? Oh, yeah. Of a He's sort. What? what you looking for, Nick? Wow. Uh, Nick! Uh, what are you doing? Get off the tracks. 
Wow. We got especially dark. We went full suicidal. Why don't you get off the tracks? Nope. Nick's done. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. I know how you My feel, Nick. Blue bastard. Just can't take any more of this happy. No faith in humanity. No faith at all. All right, Nick, get up, you win. How's it looking up there? Awful, you made your point. Not quite, not until I give these walls a new paint job. But Nick, what about Haley? You were the one with her when she was kidnapped. What have you done? I found you. Well, how's that working out for you? All right then. Goodbye, partner. Oh, come on. Heart attacking. Just randoms. We saved him. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> you are a mother calling for the soul of your son. Through a mother's love, the aroma of this flesh can waft to the spirit world. And a few drops of my menstrual blood. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's more than a few drops. Where? Oh, there's Amanda. She's still got the whiskers. Please let me handle it. That's not going to happen. You're not handling anything. You're afraid. She's a fraidy cat. I threw the wrong person out of my house. Nick's no good, but he'll, uh... Oh, there's the ring. He still keeps it ten years later. All right, all right, enough with the drama. Come on, come on back. Where is Happy? Have we lost Happy? Happy! Happy! Man, he is full on... Street person oh, crazy. Shit, I kill my kid's imaginary friend. Christmas without you. There's a Mary in this. There's a blue in this. Obviously, we have Saint Nick. Deck the halls of boughs of holy shit. I knew that asshole looked familiar. <laughs> Who is he? That means. Blue knows him. He's been behind it the whole time. Who's next to him? Huh. She's just getting weirder and weirder. Yeah, you don't say. Ah! I can understand why this show didn't necessarily find a massive following. For too many people in America, this is just a step too far. I dig it, but um, you know what? Like I said in the, in the preamble, Sometimes you just have to cut the dead wood, and um, yeah, you know it's a shame. Uh, it's a shame not everything can be a be a hit. But I'm gonna keep watching. I I do want to know what happens. I do want to. I want a happy ending. Is kind of what it comes down to. So if if you are one of the few that managed to ride these out with me, um, I, I do appreciate uh, all the thoughts, the comments. Check out some of my other shows and stay tuned because there there will probably be a new one coming down the pipe fairly soon. Um, but until then, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.